So let us summarize the examples that we have had in this section. So we had a detector and the modulo 6 counter as examples and then we tried some different approaches for state assignment. So we did the NBCD coding of our states. We tried to use a gray coding such that we only had one variable change for each state transition. We did our reduced dependency algorithm for state assignment and then we also tried the one hot state assignment strategy. We start by looking at our detector problem. So for the NBCD or natural state assignment or the natural coding of our states we had six implicants. For the gray coding and reduced dependency coding we had only four implicants instead. And when we used the one hot state assignment strategy we instead had five implicants. So it is clear here that the state assignment strategy that we're using will affect the number of implicants that we have in our realization of the problem. And all of these realizations, even though they have different implicants, they realize the same problem with the same properties and they are all minimal in our definition of minimal. So even though some are smaller than the other ones, they would all fulfill our definition of minimal. Because our definition of minimal is that given the state assignment that you have, find a realization using as few implicants as possible. And this is what we did with our Carnot maps in all of these different strategies. We have a similar situation for the modulo 6 counter where the natural coding gives us 8 implicants while the gray coding and the reduced dependency coding only gives us 6 implicants. And the one hot state assignment strategy gave us 12 implicants in total. And the main problem that we had for one hot here was that we had to realize six different functions. And again, if we compare them, we can see that the gray coding and the reduced dependency coding performs best. This doesn't necessarily mean that they always perform best. There could be other state assignments that perform better than the gray and reduced dependency codings. But they are definitely good strategies to use and it is well spent time to try to find the best state encoding using one of these strategies. And if we summarize our findings here, the conclusion that we can draw is that it is often worth spending some time trying to find a promising state assignment because it does have quite a great impact on the number of implicants that you have in the end.